guys, and welcome to episode 30 of the Printing Craft. I can't believe it's already been 30 episodes. Today, we're going to play with Power Armor. I, I'm not using this farm anymore, so I went ahead and put uh, Essence Berries here just to get experience. And then some Blueberries here for Saturation. Saturation is where uh, you have Invisible Hunger when it's full, and it also goes up to 10. And uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's nice to just fill your Saturation to 10 before you go into a cave or something so you don't have to deal with it in the middle of it while you're starving and having monsters burning up on you like creepers. But yeah, let's go ahead and start power armor stuff. Uh, as <laughs> as I've learned, and I should have learned a long time ago, if you hit shift when you're holding the question mark when you're in this menu, it will pop it up here if you have everything you need. If you don't, it'll show you what you have and what you don't. So yeah, that's a lot better. I'll be doing that for now on. So we'll get the power armor table, and as you see, it requires an emerald, so good thing I got those villagers. Thinking ahead, huh? No, I wasn't thinking ahead, I just got lucky. But here we go, we will place this, uh, is this about the middle, who cares? Place this right here. No module power suit items found in every tour. Make some! So that means we, made, we need to make the power armor stuff. So we got the helmet, the power of chest, leggings, and the boots. And you're like, these are going to be hard to make. Uh, no, not really. They're actually, the easiest part of the thing is making the armor itself, which is, may seem ridiculous, but yeah, and they're really easy to make, too. All you need is some wiring, and you think, well, that's going to be hard. No, not really. You could do this ridiculous way like this, which I'm not going to do, or you could do this way, where it's just that, and you can get yourself a stack, and there you go. You have enough for a little bit. So, we will go ahead and Click that. Actually, we should just throw that back in there. So we'll go ahead and click this again. Helmet. Click this again. Chest. Click it again. A leggings. Click it one more time. Boots. There we go. We have it all. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. No, no, okay. That's not true at all. That's not how it is. Uh, but as you see, as I put this on, my armor rating didn't go up. <clears throat> well, this doesn't work like normal armor. You have to upgrade it. So now, now you'll see that it says I have stuff in here and I can tinker with it. So I can click the power helmet. And these are all the upgrades I can do. So I could do aromatic for Thomcraft. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll just not going to do that at all. We can uh, do flight control, which is kind of cool. We could do night vision, which is kind of cool, but I, I don't really mind about night vision. Maybe I will simply for you guys. Uh, make it a I can breathe under water, a uh, water electrolyzer. That's a very awesome thing. But the first things that we need to really worry about is a battery and uh, some protection. Because right now we're basically walking naked with some beautiful armor that will not protect us at all. So we're because the head first and we will get some diamond plating. How hard is it to make advanced plating? Let's find out. Advanced plating. So it's right there. And that requires... That doesn't require very much at all. If you, if you consider needing like... Five diamonds not requiring very much. So we'll click this and do we have everything we need? We do. Now, do we have enough for four? Because that's what we want. Okay, so now we'll go equip all of them. So, there's done. So install that one. That's been installed. Now it shows thickness of the plating. Now I'll install the other ones and then I'll explain this. So I'll install that one, and then I'll install that one, and then I'll install that one. Now you can Go to the plating, and you can max this the hell out. You can go to each one and, like, yeah, just push it to the brink. There you go. I'm a walking tank now. I mean, I am monstrous. And, well, if, what do you know? My boots are help. My, I mean, my uh, sword and silk sash is helping me walk faster. Otherwise, I would not move so fast. I would probably be walking very slowly. And these are upgraded. If I went ahead and screwed around with the iron plating and did this, I would be walking very slowly right now. And uh, you can also do the energy shield, but uh, it consumes energy and... Uh, I don't even, 
That requires force field emitters, which we're going to need anyways, but those are just a pain in the ass to make, so... Yeah, diamond plating. I had it. Why not? I am a walking beast right now. So are we done with this? No. We're not even... We're not even beginning to be done or start with this. Now we can go to the basic batteries. So it needs an LV capacitor. That's cool and all. But I'm thinking an elite battery, which requires an HV capacitor. We'll only need one, because that's all you need for the body. So HV. HV. There we go. It shows you how it's made. I think I have everything needed for that, so... Oh yeah, so look, everything I needed to make this. My god, this is going to be a very short video if I keep having everything I need. I guess that's what I get for using a Cori constantly. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, put it in the head. And we'll make it so that it's... I guess we'll just max them both out and see what happens. So am I walking slower now? As you notice, I am walking slower. This is slowing me down. Can I toss this up in here? Now this requires a crap load of power, and it won't even let me, I need to take down its tier. The tier doesn't really mean much, I shouldn't have put it that high anyways. So we'll go here and we'll take it down to... So it doesn't matter at all, it's still a 5 million, so whatever. We'll just go throw this in there now, as is. And it's gonna... I have to take you to a certain tier. Okay, so pretty sure if I put you in there now, and that'll let you go in. It still won't let you go in. Uh, uh, I'm not sure why I won't let you go in. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it won't let me directly apply, but that's fine. I'll just build a charge pad. That works for me. So I think we have everything we need for the MFE. So uh, I've already made the energy crystals before. I had to make them. I didn't have enough. So, all right, there's MFE. We'll go ahead and toss it in and take it back out, and then we'll go back to the charge pad, and we should click this and have everything we need for the charge pad. Yay! Now, do we have any fiber? Because I kind of wanted to have this connected directly with fiber optic. Hmm. I don't think we do. That's kind of a kind of a crappy situation. So I think we're gonna have to make some fiber optic. All right, guys, to make five glass fiber cables, pretty easy. You just you need some injurium dust, pulverized silver, and injurium dust more, and a bunch of glass. So critic. And yeah, and we'll make as much as we can, which gave us two. Two? Are you serious? We probably need to grind up some silver. Alrighty, here we go. Twelve, that's more like it. Do we really need more silver dust? Well, crap. How much more do we need? Oh, okay, there we go. Fourteen. Fourteen seems good. It's a new number eight. So we... So we got the charge pad. I just had to confirm that. It took, it took a couple moments to do this, so I had to sit there for a moment. It's kind of like derping. Like, I do this. How I mine for fish. And if I remember, I'm going to want the pad facing downwards. Like so. That's exactly how I didn't want you to do it, but, you know. electric wrench, hit you so that that's how I want you. We are going to connect here, here, down, doot, doot, doot. That looks, tell me out. Good, just let, let me out. Bastard. And I should be able to charge now. If not, then I'll just curl up in a ball and cry. Just 
like, why does it not work like I want it to? Why? And then get over it. Uh, how much of this optical wire do I have left? You know, there's no reason I should just over here and connect this using the the optic instead of uh stuff. Which is fine, it's still gonna be connected in two different ways, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh this is probably getting sucked dry. No, no it's not. Interesting. I'll just throw this stuff in here. Uh Okay, so now when I sit on this, you're not getting power. Why are you not getting power? Okay guys, bad news. I couldn't get the charge, and I, I made a charge pad, and I tried to put it in an MFE and it didn't work, and I just kind of give up. I, I sat there for about, probably an hour, just trying to get it to work, and I couldn't figure out why. I went on websites, I went on the Feed the Beast wiki, uh, I, I went on other versions of Feed the Beast wiki. I am stumped about why I can't charge this. So until then, uh, is it still good armor to put on? God, yes. Even without the power, I have got diamond plated armor. I am a walking tank. It would be very, very hard to hurt me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to play around with the ME system more. There's actually a couple things I need to do back here. One of them, as you'll see, uh, I'm starting to fill up a little bit. These are all 4K. Uh, you'll see I have an extractor. Uh, I didn't make it in front of you guys, so I'll do that now to show you how, just to sh show it. You need an electronic circuit, four tree taps, I should have had to do these all before, and a basic machine casing, and that'll give you an extractor. Simple enough. Uh, this thing is, uh, not incredibly hard to, to use. I'm just trying to think of where I could place it. I gotta be able to place it where I can put the MFE to. Uh, a little interesting fact that you guys should know of. Don't put 10 cable or any other type of cable uh, near energy conduits. Uh, the leech, the latch, and then the EU will leech off into the energy conduit and it, you won't get any RF from it. You'll get nothing and you'll just lose tons and tons of power. Which, what was happening before when you saw my uh, system going dry. So yeah, just be warned about that, and I'm trying to figure out where I could put this so that it doesn't cause a problem. So I could probably just set this right here, and I hope this doesn't connect. Okay, good, it doesn't, and it's, it's right next to here, so that's fine. And I need to get some... I need to plan about how I'm going to do this. What I want to do is have it so that uh, okay, I need to go to Amy before I can explain this better because I'm st I guess my brain can't compute. I want to make it so that sticky resin and rubber wood goes into the extractor and gets turned into usable rubber because you can't switch and swap industrial rubber and uh Minecraft Reloaded Rubber. It, it won't let you. It, it does for some things, but then there are other things that it simply demands Industrial Craft 2 Rubber. So you need to be aware of that. Because that could cause you problems if you don't know about that. So what we're going to do is reach over here. And I know we're, I know I'm reaching the limit for how many channels that are on this. I... One, two, three... Okay, no, just one... Two, three. Okay, never, never mind. We're pretty good, but this can only handle 32. So at one point, I will connect one more thing eventually, and then it'll be like, no, no, you're done, and that'll just be that. That I can't do anything else if it does that. So, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. No. 
Ah, don't want to do that either. Oh God! Here, you go back. Hey, you come here. Come here. There we go. All right. So we'll go from this side. Yeah. We gotta make sure it doesn't connect to the test rack because that would probably suck. I don't know what would happen. So little room back here. So when you get the export bus and the import bus. So we are wanting to import. It's correct. And see I forgot the two things. I, I need a capacity card. Do I have a capacity pass? No, we don't have a card. Hold on. Card. Where is it? Capacity. I know I have some extras. Hopefully I do. Capacity. Do I have enough? To... Do I have that? Okay, good. That's what I needed. So I need one rubber wood and one sticky resin. And then I will stick that in there. Then I'll put the capacity card in there and then I'll stick that in there as well. There's nothing else I really need. Uh, this should start up in a couple seconds. I believe. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. As usual, grabber, grabber, grabber. You need an export. Export. You always get it wrong. Why are you only doing one? Okay, there we go. Now, one. Put that there. Add this. And now you just see this thing should be active. Good, that's what we want. We want to see that. Now we want to, uh... And just make one. Come on, just make one. All I need is one. Just give me it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, it'll get a rubber. So, that's export. Now we do an import. Yeah, because I still have trouble with this and I don't know why. Okay, so, that, put that like that. And now, whenever this makes, if it'll go online, come on, I know there's channels, don't screw with me. Should take it, yeah, there it goes. Now it'll go into the ME system and this thing is making rubber. Industrial crash rubber. I will have to add some overclockers and I will later. But for now, that's just another thing that the ME system is doing in the back. It's kind of auto-crafting in a way, but there's ways to make it do auto-crafting by itself, which is not, this is not it. This is just my way of making auto-craft. There's an entire auto-crafting system that ME can do. But that's going to be a whole video of me screwing around with this. So I suppose now we could, can I see it, possibly play with ores. And you remember that I, oh my god ores, look at all of them. So, okay, so we got iron and ferrous, this is a lot of ore. So ferrous, and then tin, and then aluminum, and gold, and silver, and yellowite, and lead. This is a crap little of materials. I did not expect this much. And then shiny. I don't. I don't know if we have enough room to, for all these at once. I, I am. Some of the semi has to do manually anyways, or uh, use two of these, but anyways. This should start up as soon as I do this. So I'm going to add bleep. Okay, capacity. What's going on here? So the ferrous, the tin, the aluminum, the gold. Blah, yellow right, the lead, and yeah, we're gonna have a problem because there's not, there's just simply too many. So I did not want to do this. This sucks that I have to do this, but I have no choice. So we're gonna go ahead and 
do another one. Connect it as so. This will be another export. So we're gonna need another capacity card. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks so much that I have to do that. So I need to get a uh, another capacity card. I guess it's not too bad. Okay, we can get one immediately. That's good. I love that I could just, just yank them out. That's what I get for making a bunch. So we'll toss another capacity one in there. So they will toss the di dark iron and what did I do? I didn't mean to do that. Um, the other things I can't really do much with. So you can see that it's it's grinding stuff up. It's throwing everything through. Everything in here is being sucked out immediately. That's what we want. That's what it's supposed to be doing. It's doing its job. So good. Another automation of the system. So the last thing I think I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and upgrade these, these double layer capacitors. We could do better than that now. We have Ender. We don't have to worry so much. In fact, I think these Enders over here are probably done again. And they are. So good. We'll use them. We'll snatch them up and or step on them and hurt ourselves. It's a, it's a damn shame I haven't found more, but it's fine that I can just go hunt for them. That doesn't bother me. I wish I could go find a little little tiny Enderman and kill one, because I haven't seen one for a long time. That way I could change into one instead of having to turn into a Mandrake, which isn't so bad, but I just like being the little Ender guy. They're cool. So now we'll go to Capacitor. Okay, maybe we'll go into the NEI and do a Capacitor. So the capacitor is octa. So the octa. Could you might can you die just like a little quieter, please? No? Okay, well that's cool too. So we need some vibrant alloy. So how the hell do you make that? Well, if you click up here it'll show you. So we need an energetic alloy and an inner pearl. Do we have energetic? Inner Yeah, we have plenty, so we're going to need four, and then we're going to need ender, and we have just enough ender pearls, and we're going to go here. Where are you? Alloy smelter, do we have you on all smelting? We do, and we'll toss it in, and this will take a moment, and I'll be back when this is done. Mmm, vibrant alloy. So now we're going to we're gonna yank these out of these for a second, because we can use them. That'll slow, slow everything down for a couple of seconds, but who cares, it'll be fine. We'll go do the same for this one, because they're both getting an upgrade, and this will be the first part of it. So, click on this. Oh, let's throw them in, and let's throw these in too. So, we need these, and we got one. Okay, now it says that we're going to need two of these. But we're going to need two of these first, so. I love that. That's so awesome. Go ahead and toss them in. So we're going to two of these. Oh, I needed four. I needed four of the basics. Oops. Yeah, oops. Alright, so and then we'll go back to this and throw those in because I forgot. Click this, get two out, fantastic. This is about the final upgrade for these, so I'll toss this in and you'll see this thing plunge. It's now taking 500,000 and it is going incredibly fast. Let's see, what is it about? It doesn't tell you exactly, but I bet it's about 200%, plus it increases the chances that we'll get extra stuff. Nice. Hopefully this can keep up. I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll just overclock it more probably. It is the best way to do smelting. I mean, there's really no other way better. And, uh, I, I am not going to upgrade this one. Uh, I, I, there's no purpose. It's simply for me to, uh, make alloys and stuff, which I never make much of. Maybe I will eventually one time, but just for now, no. Uh, this is going to be back here for coal production for our power plant. 
So as you see, it's going really slow now. I'll toss this in. It will speed up dramatically. There we go. And are you getting power? Ooh. Ooh. You're not getting much power. What's going on here? Okay, what's going on here? Uh, let me toss this in here for a second before it gets power. No, oh, you're still not getting power. What's going on here? Are you actually using too much power now? What's what's happening here? I uh, I think I need to replace this energy conduit with a better power supply. Mm, yes, let me do that now. Okay, guys, uh, I actually haven't shown you this. I think so. What we're gonna do is put the energetic alloy as so and make a crap load of enhanced energy conduit. I swore I've showed you guys this before, but if I haven't, then this is basically where I'm gonna do anyway. So I was gonna show you it no matter what. Uh, you know what? Where's the wrench? There's an easier way to do this. Get the wrench. Click. Click. But sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes I click and it still doesn't work. So you have that weird stuff sometimes. Yeah, these need more power, I think. Or it's just being bizarre. Which wouldn't be the first time if that's the case. Okay, so... I'll leave that unplugged for now. I, I don't think I need any case for the moment, so... On over here. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. It's really aggravating sometimes. So then we'll hook that up. And are you guys giving this thing proper power now? Oh god, it's not getting any power at all. Okay, um, eh, we're just going to have to do it. We're going to have to power from the bottom part, because I don't think it's... Well, one, I haven't got it connected. Let's just connect it for a second and see if that changes anything. Does that help? Okay, it's struggling, but now it's getting power. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. So that's good. I was going to go under, do it underneath too, but that's unnecessary. So this thing is providing more power, and I might just upgrade everything else too for now. But for now, this will do it. And I think I'll end the videos with this. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really need uh, to know what you guys want to see next. I mean, I know I don't have that many viewers, but literally anybody. Tell me what you want to see before I could do it. Because uh, the problem with this is I went high tier pretty fast. I should have stayed at low tier stuff. Showed you other mods that are low tier stuff as well. Um, next season, when I, and there will be a next season, it won't be like that. I won't rush to go as fast as I can. I will go from mod to mod to mod. We'll be like, hey, I did it with, I did this with this, but you can also do it with this, and you can also do that with this, and then show you how each one works. But, uh, I think I will probably get to 40 or 50, and we may call it on this season. But for now, uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and or subscribe. Uh, it just shows me that you like the videos and you want more and I'm happy to oblige. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.